Hi YouTube, this is going to be a very quick tutorial on brushing your teeth correctly. Now I know this sounds like a really dull and stupid tutorial, but after I went on like an oral hygiene course in work, I actually thought, I came home and thought, I'm actually brushing my teeth wrong. I I, you know, I couldn't believe it. So I'm going to share you the tips that I learned from this course and hopefully you guys will take on these tips as well. So yeah, I guess the first tip would be is choosing the correct toothbrush. Again, I know it sounds really dull, but trust me on this. So you need a toothbrush with a very small head like this. This is the one I had for free when I, when I went on the course compared to like a big one. So you can see like the big difference in the size of the brushes. So the first step is get a toothbrush brush with a very small head because everybody's under the impression that a bigger tooth brush uh, is easier, it'll make it easier for you to clean your teeth and it's reaching into more areas. Uh -uh. Wrong. Completely wrong. You need a small head tooth on your tooth brush so it will get to those hard to reach areas like right at the back here where your wisdom teeth are. That's if you had your wisdom teeth yet. But still, you need a small head on your toothbrush to get to those hard to reach areas, otherwise you're not cleaning your teeth properly and you're not lifting up all the bacteria and plaque. Uh, tip number two, do not put water on your toothbrush. Don't. Because the water creates the foam in your mouth and the foam in your mouth is supposed to, create, is supposed to develop naturally because, uh, as you know, good old toothpaste, has fluoride in it. Now fluoride is what protects your teeth and cleans your teeth. So put toothpaste on your toothbrush dry and let the toothpaste foam in your mouth naturally. That way all the fluoride is staying in your mouth and cleaning and destroying any bacteria in your mouth. And don't forget to brush your tongue as well because that's one of the major factors of having bad breath. Um, so yeah, because your tongue also collects bacteria, so make sure you brush all the bacteria off your tongue. Um, yes, and one more is do not rinse your mouth with water. Don't, because you're taking out all the fluoride you've just put in on your teeth. Just rinse with um, mouthwash. This is, yeah, see, you can see it's, it says fluoride on here. So this has got fluoride in it, so when you're swilling your mouth out, you, you're putting more fluoride in, so it's, it's protecting your teeth even more and making your fre mouth fresher. So let's revise again. You need a toothbrush with a small head. Don't put water in the toothbrush. And rinse your mouth with what uh, mouthwash instead of water. And one more thing is to check is um, your gums. If your gums are nice and pink, you're doing a good job. Your teeth and your gums are staying healthy. That's why you need fluoride. So your teeth and your gums are staying healthy and clean. If they're red and inflamed, go to the dentist or start using these tips I just give you. So your teeth and your gums will be healthier. Uh, yeah, I think this has been a very short tutorial. Um, I wanted to share this with you guys because I couldn't believe I was brushing my teeth wrong because I was putting water on my toothbrush and it w and I always had like toothbrush, like toothpaste always coming on you. It's not a sexy look. And now that I'm not putting water on my toothbrush, you know, I'm not getting like that rabies form coming down my mouth. <laughs> Yeah, not a good luck for anybody. So definitely use some of the tips I've given you. Or, well, not some of the tips, all the tips really. Because, you know, you're improving your oral health. And you're probably wondering why I went on an oral health course. I'm not like a dentist or anything. I work in a care home. So it's it's part of the, co of, like, the whole training scheme. You've got to go on the course because you've got to deal with a lot of dentures, a lot of tooth cavities. It's not nice brushing other people's teeth, but you've got to, so. Yeah, 
small head and toothbrush. Find yourself a good toothpaste as well. That's another good tip. Find yourself a good toothpaste because like different toothpastes work for different people. It's like I really love the Aqua Fresh toothpaste. I love it. It's brilliant. It's and um this Colgate Fresh gel is quite nice as well. I'd like awfully minty toothpaste because it kind of feels like my mouth's on fire then. I don't like it. So yeah, get yourself a good toothpaste that you like. Small toothbrush, rinse with mouthwash and don't put water on your toothbrush. And yeah, I think that's it. So wrap it all up. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please put a thumbs up. And if you like all my other videos, please subscribe. Uh, I think I should mention that at some point I am going to be doing like hairstyle tutorials and like nail art tutorials. Like, I mean, my nails haven't grown back yet, so when they do, I will be doing some nail art tutorials. I love painting my nails and like doing like well, nail art stuff to them. So, yeah, so keep watching and watch out for those videos and enjoy your day. Bye.